We make you food on the table and shit. It's stressful shit. Like, I'm not trying to deal with that shit here, man. I'm trying to, you know, match my fucking hoes. Shit, cuz, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go with some money. So, yeah, I can be no more Okay, I did put this turbo on the speed, so it does sound a little bit crazier, but everything he's saying sounds crazy no matter what speed you play it in. Y'all can listen to this if you want. I can't be no motherfucking husband. You know, I can make motherfucking babies. You know what I'm saying? I can make the motherfucker because I like getting some pussy, but you know, I can do the shot. I can be no father, man. Fuck that. Shit, you don't want to shot, we know how to do it. But shit, you gotta have no motherfucking father. You know what I'm saying? This is all the type of shit you would hear from African Americans, generally speaking. Not all of us, but generally speaking, is what you would hear. I'm long over the. He just wiped his nose again. I, I don't even, this is, I know he's yelling and he's screaming and he's spitting and stuff, so I, I, I don't know why he just keep wiping his nose, but. One video is really breaking it down African American people because I'm one of those individuals, I'm really tired of all the bullshit, I'm tired of all the excuses, I'm tired. Okay, I don't know, I think he might be sick. It might be that he's like just got mucus or whatever, and it's like maybe he's congested or something, or I don't know why he keeps wiping his nose and scratching his nose. As a solution oriented person. Let me stay on track here. Did he just do okay. I love okay. trying to find my contact lenses? Certain okay. individuals I curse their ass out. Because see, number one, it's a choice. See, I used to answer the phone at the health store. And I why curse why do you have to curse the customers out? Why don't you just say, Hey, if you have a problem, report me to the Better Business Bureau. And just report them to the Better Business Bureau. And then get your lawyer or call the, 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 you know, the news and they have like investigative reporting where they say, hey, we're going to report and investigate this business and see like we're going to order products and see if they actually come. We're going to take them to a laboratory and test them out and see if they're, you know, if they're really what's in there is what's in there because, you know, him separating from his own company it's really shady because it's like, was somebody selling garbage the whole time? Like, did they have filler in the products? I know he had oats in one of his stuff, and oats are like poison. I already broke that stuff down, but. Heard about issues that happen with ordering and shipping and just everything. And when this happens to Caucasian individuals, and I've been in three years at the store, and I've never had that problem with a single Caucasian. Never, not one time. That's how I know it's a choice. And also know it's a cultural thing as well, too. And generally... Okay, in the black neighborhood, it is harder to get your mail, sir. They don't... They they won't fix my mailbox at my apartment. The the, the, the mail lady won't, won't put it in the mailbox. She put it in the wrong mailbox. You know, stuff happens in the black neighborhood. My neighbor stole my mail. Oh, I was sleeping with the mail lady. I was flirting with the mail lady. You know, we, we gave the mail lady some barbecue... You know what I mean? The, the mail lady got drunk at the barbecue, then delivered the mail. Stuff happens in the black neighborhood. <laughs> I had to go into imagination to figure out that one. Like, why do the mail be so messed up in the black neighborhood? <laughs> that lady was smoking in that mail truck. I know she was smoking in that goddamn mail. Y'all seen them UPS ladies and the, and the mail ladies dance battling? They was over there dance battling when they supposed to be getting y'all mail right and y'all medications and, and, and all of y'all business stuff. <laughs> oh, God, did y'all see that? Oh, that is hilarious. That's hilarious. I had to laugh for a moment because I get so stressed out because he's stressed out. It is... It's making me sad because I'm like, I got to expose my elder. Like, you know, because if I, if I wanted to talk about my elder, I could tell y'all about my elder. But my elders be like, yo, we used to be vegetarian and we just they just told me they're not vegetarian no more. They just they just told me the truth. They don't be frying and stuff. They be like, yeah, I still eat vegetarian food and stuff, but I'm not a vegetarian no more. And I be like, cool, I'm still a vegan though, you know. And I drink breast milk, but I'm still a vegan, you know. So there's not there's not nothing for me to talk about really, you know. Uh, one of the elders told me they was like, yo, I don't eat kale no more. Another uh, told me they was like, yo, we found somebody allergic to kale. And I'm like, yo, I didn't even know you could be allergic to kale. Like, like I didn't, that, that blew my mind. And I'm like, 
y'all could die eating a kale wrap? Like for real, real now, <laughs> not just allergic to the poison or, or, you know, having whatever side effects from eating garlic and stuff. But I'm talking about the, not just the, the vegan crack and all that stuff I done told y'all all about with Tassili's. I'm talking about kale just by itself. You could be allergic to it. So all these people, they tell you about all this spiritual stuff and they don't be like, number one, what are you allergic to? You know, number one, what's your blood type? Okay, we we gonna probably you know take this to your doctor and then then holler back at me because I'm gonna make the doctor liable. I'm not gonna be liable for nothing. It's gonna be nah. You talk to your doctor. The doctor told you. That's how we do things. You know. That's why I don't have no lawsuits. That's why Doctor Sabi's cell food is still existence because we don't never say oh just listen to us do whatever we say. We the gods. Like we be like nah. We the truth. We the we the you know we gods people. We the gods, whatever. But at the same time, go check with your doctor just in case we mess it up. Just be, just in case we saying something that's wrong or we don't. Maybe you don't even remember what you're allergic to. You know, some people don't know what they're allergic to. So that's why you got the blood type stuff where people try to use that system to try to get away from the medical system. But the main thing you need to figure out is what are you allergic to? That, that's step one in health. I don't even think people even talk about that. That's like step one in going vegan. What the hell are you allergic to? Don't use that. <laughs> Read now. <laughs> you know, because it's funny. Like, I used to drink milk. If I drink milk right now, I'll get super sick. But it's the same crap milk that's in the store I used to drink. But I don't have eczema no more. I don't have acne no more like I used to. It used to be real, real bad. Where I wouldn't even want to be on this camera at all. But y'all see me get on the camera with one or two little acne, and it's like, I still look better than young Pharaoh. Like, young Pharaoh got all them bumps and stuff on his face, and it's like, y'all, something not right. He's supposed to manifest something. You got Tahuti, you got Dr. Sebi, all these people. Why is young Pharaoh's face like that? The elders are supposed to sit him down and be like, nah, we're going to take you to the spa, and they're going to put the steam on your face and, and give you some herbs or something. I don't know. But it didn't work. I do know what you should do, but I'm not even talking about that right now. But I don't know what they, they should have grabbed him. Y'all should not have been able to make fun of young Pharaoh like that. Y'all shouldn't even be able to make fun of me. They supposed to get me and be like, now nah, we about to get you and get you a Pharaoh outfit and let you teach. Cause you, you know something you done exposed to Hootie. I'm not even, my YouTube supposed to be gone now. It ain't, I ain't even supposed to be making YouTube videos no more. They supposed to have been like, nah, you you are officially a god and we're gonna fund you and we're gonna pay you to write books and teach we're gonna help you write the book young pharaoh don't got no book i'm pretty sure young pharaoh doesn't have a book i don't know what is this guy's book now because i would really have to go and expose his book but we don't if he wrote if if he's to hootie he would have to write a book like i'm about to write a book because i'm in my 30s since I'm in my 30s, I'm allowed to write a book now. I would not be allowed to write a book about any type of stuff if I wasn't in my 30s. And I wouldn't even allow myself because I would possibly be sounding very stupid and I could hurt you. So if, for example, I could have wrote a book when I was younger and I would have to destroy that book now. I would burn my book if I wrote a book with, when I was younger. When I had a book that I was working on, I told my wife, I'm not going to sell this. I'm going to go study with Dr. Sabi because he knows something that I don't know. And I'm not going to, I don't want to sell my people out. I, it ain't worth it to me. And I could hurt myself. I could hurt you. We could drive ourselves crazy out here and be screaming in the camera like this guy. But I want to let him tell it some more, so I want to see what else he got to say. I saw this whole video. Speaking black, you have a stank-ass attitude, especially black women, a stank-ass attitude. And that's why they attract so much drama. But Caucasian people, hey, sir, I'm sorry about that. Keep the product, uh, I'm going to give you free shipping, what have you, I'm going to send this out. Thank you, sir, thank you very much. And, and they just keep ordering from you because they understand their energy is different. But African-Americans, well, shit, you should, you're going to give me 50% ownership of the hell, so I'm Okay, some of these white people that are ordering from you might not even be using the product. Some of these white people that order from you might be celebrities or masons. So they might have enough knowledge to, to, you know, speak to you about a certain thing. Like, 
you know. Uh, now he's talking about how black people t react to him. And it's very funny because he's going to go extreme, but it's actually funny what he says. But I just wanted to, 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 to talk about that because he's, he's almost kind of cooning again. Cause shit, the post office lost my order. The motherfuckers always want something. Always want something. I mean, man, I can sit up here for hours and just tell you about the, the funky ass attitude. Yeah, we want something, especially if we paid for it. And if you inconvenience me, I expect to get something for free. Like I expect, like no, like we get something for free. You just, I don't waited two weeks and then I still got problems with you. Like, bro, like if you don't give my money back or give me something now. What's scary is, he say the horns come out in the stinger. Does that mean that he be poisoning y'all? Does that mean that when y'all call him and y'all be angry, does he be like, yeah, I got some for you. Like he said, I got some for you. Yeah, I got some for you where they go and put something in your stuff. Send you something that's old. Send you something and put the other label on it and it'll, it don't be that. Send you the cheap stuff. You know, because some people do want the, They don't care. They're like, look, I'll take the cheap sea moss. I don't, I, just give me some sea moss. Because I've been there. I've been like, yo, the cops just beat me up. I need some sea moss now. I don't want to talk about it on the phone. Send me some goddamn sea moss. They be like, no, it's going to take two weeks. Nigga, if you don't give me some sea moss this week and I just sent you my money... I'm going to find you and then make you empty your pockets. That's what's going to happen. That's how black people talk. That's how we think. But this guy. Oh, black people. And this is not a diversion for legitimate rights because they have to be dealt with this as well. It's not just the customer, but there's so much that can come from all of this if people would take the time to look. Look at the insight. That goes for customers and also the employees of DinoStore.com. Keep it real. This one lady called in and said that the book says she's supposed to get something. So a customer service rep said that's a typo or a mistake they, or that they put the wrong booklet in. They ran out of booklets and so they grabbed a stack and it had the wrong information, which is why it wasn't used. And the black female said... So y'all sending people the wrong stuff. And the lady said that's not what she paid for. And you want to treat her like she ignorant and she stupid, but you stupid. You didn't order enough. You ran out. You didn't have enough wisdom and knowledge to order the right thing. You put the wrong thing in the wrong box. And then you you calling her stupid and ignorant, calling black people ignorant when they giving you their money and you not giving them what they asked for and what they paid for. Do y'all hear this shit? This shit sound crazy. This is this is the point where it's like, look, excuse me, ma'am. Hold up. We made a mistake. We fucked up. That's what he just said. What, whatever you want, I want to get this right. Negative reviews. Let's let's get you right, baby. We messed up. That's what's supposed to happen. What the hell? Who's listen on Crip? Goddamn. Whose mama auntie is he talking about? Who mama did he curse out? Now you gotta hide, boy. See, I don't be out here just cursing out people's mama for no reason. I be opening the door. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I was thinking about that today. I was thinking about y'all. I said, man, I love y'all so much. I just walk around. I say, yes, ma'am. To people that people that eat pork, people that eat that ain't even vegans, I still be, yes, ma'am. How you doing? God bless you. I be just polite as I could be. I be threatening people. I'm about to knock you out. They be like, huh? Okay, I told you I'm about to knock you out now. Then I might yell it. Because I'm like, did you hear what I just said? I'm about to knock you out. They'd be, they'd be so polite. They'd be like, oh, he's joking. <laughs> no, I'm just meditating on where and how I want to knock you out. Which bones do I want to break? Which bones should I break? Legally, how, I'm too hooty at that moment. I'm meditating like legally, which bones can I break? Because <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like for real, That that's what's going on. But this guy was cursing out y'all mamas and y'all aunties. On the set out there in Hollywood in California, whose mama let me find out? Let me and Ray Ray cut them. Let Ray Ray them find out that you and Ray Yay Yay 
was over there and they sent y'all some money and you cursed out they mama, they auntie, they sister. What the fuck? This nigga should be hiding. He ain't posting no videos in two years, so I assume he's either dead or on an island. I don't know. Maybe he got that Rona. I don't know. But a lot of people disappearing, and I think he gonna be one of them, maybe. He might disappear. I don't know if he's trying to go to the moon or Mars or whatever they got going on. But the whole point is, whose mama was he disrespecting? Because I, if the lady's sick, if the lady's old, if the lady is crazy, and you messed up, how you going to call her ignorant and all this stuff? I feel like Steve Harvey right now. How the hell are you going to, you know, I'm trying to do the Steve Harvey. I'm not, I'm not, I can't do, I don't do Steve Harvey impressions. I don't do that. So, but in my mind, Steve Harvey, because I just was on the, watching the Steve Harvey show for a second, talking about him on the Steve Harvey show or his company or former company on the Steve Harvey show. And, you know, Cedric the Entertainer shops with Dr. Sabi. Cedric the Entertainer got Dr. Sabi. So, Steve Harvey featured this guy. And then this guy talked down on Dr. Sabi. But then, in the end... I just got to go back to the point of how the hell you going to talk to a sick, possibly elderly lady, possibly your elder you disrespecting on just on just a, a spiritual level. You're disrespecting your elder, possibly. Now you're disrespecting the black woman goddess. And you're uplifting white people like a coon. I'm not saying you're a coon, but you're doing some cooning. And then... You talk, you talk crazy about the Jews and stuff. Man, I'll be scared to be this man. Why would you want all them targets on you, bro? Oh, bro, out there in Cali, you disrespecting people's. Somebody sick gave you their money to get better, and you gonna talk crazy to them, and you messed up. But they sick and they crazy. They obviously ain't that crazy. They caught you fucking up. They caught you not being wise. Lord. I be having to slow it down sometimes so it can just get. What did he just say? I just like, what did he just say? But I want it anyway. But I said so. I want it. So I mean, want a customer service representative phone to me because you know when I, when I, when I come in the office and I hold on, baby, look, you you pay for it. It say that's what you supposed to get. She said she want what she, what she paid for. She don't want nothing else but what she paid for. She sounded like she got good sense. Sounds like she got good a good head on her shoulders. <laughs> I don't know. It's because he sounds crazy. He's screaming. And I'm like, you fucked up. He supposed to be apologizing to everybody right now. Like, y'all, I fucked up. I don't know. He's making it like it's no big deal that Tahuti, my raw company, fucked up. You're not supposed to fuck up. I get it. It, it could happen, but you're the, you Tahuti, the god of wisdom. I would hear certain things. I knew it was an African American. How did he get me the phone? Because I always take advantage of opportunities to educate. And I said, yes, ma'am, what is your grievance? Well, the documents say I was supposed to get something, and it didn't come with it. I said, well, you know, ma'am, when I left the phone business and came to a new business, you know, I altered certain things because it was a waste. A lot of people didn't want these things here, and they were paying for it. You know, so, so that people can benefit, you know, certain things were removed the auxiliaries, and it brought the price down very low. Sounds like he's fast talking now. You a city slicker, ain't you? You a fast talker, ain't you? You saying, oh, the, you, you took some stuff out to, to, to lower the price, and possibly you, you had something maybe she saw something old and she ordered something maybe you didn't update the website is that what you, is that what he's saying and it gave you the option of buying these things certainly if you wanted them you know just using intelligence i tried so what? many medications for fibromyalgia so rip said that's a typo or a mistake they, or that they put the wrong booklet in they ran out of booklets and so they grabbed a stack and it had the wrong information which is why it wasn't used and the black female said well i want it anyway the paper said so i want it so the Armenian woman customer service rep gave the phone to me. Because, you know, when I, when I would come in the office and I would hear certain things, I knew it was an African-American. How did he give me the phone? Because I would take advantage of the opportunity. This is racism. This is slavery. This one, you, you, your master teachers, he supposed to get on the phone and say, ma'am, I apologize. We made a mistake. What We're going to send it to you ASAP. And thank you very much. And she supposed to be like, God dang, Tahuti got on the phone. She's supposed to be like, oh, dang, some smooth God got, king got on the phone and handled it. And everything was went, you know, Amazing, and she got some amazing results from these products. Educate, and I said, "Yes, ma'am. What is your grievance?" Well, the documents say I was supposed to get something, and it didn't come with it. I said, "Well, you know, ma'am, 
from the from business and came to new business, you know, I wanted certain things because it was a waste. A lot of people didn't want these things here and they were paying for it. You know, so, so that people can benefit, you know, certain things were removed the auxiliaries and it brought the price down very low. And it what he says is not making sense. He's saying that he eliminated things to bring down the price, but the lady ordered something and it came, it was supposed to come with something and it didn't, but then y'all put the wrong thing in there. You made a mistake. I don't get what he's talking about now. If you actually buy these things separately, if you wanted them, you know, just using intelligence. Well, I understand all that, you know, but the paper said, how am I supposed to get it? I said, well, ma'am, I said, they made a mistake. They didn't mean to do that. They made it was an innocent mistake. So it says it's what I want it. I said, you know, ma'am, you're operating off of poverty consciousness, which is what the majority of African Americans do. And I understand. And I'm a man who has much. So you didn't have what you were supposed to have, but you claim you have so much and you didn't send the lady what she was supposed to get. Then you claim that, oh, it was just an error, ma'am. Oh, you didn't get what you what you were supposed to get. Oh, well, we just made a mistake. Not we just ripped you off. We just ripped you off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, we just made a mistake. We didn't. We sent you the wrong thing. Oh, we didn't scam you. We made a mistake. So you know, let me just fast talk you real quick. And uh, you know, you you real pop. You real poor. Yeah, yeah. You ain't shit. And you and you you know, it's just like you know. Um, sometimes like Tyreek Nasheed or like bring people on the live and right before he let them talk, he'd be like, now what your bitch ass want to talk about? You know what I mean? It's like the first thing the person got to say is like, yo, hold up. Why are you talking to me like that? Like, yo, you give me like, whoa, like let's not start. Let's not start off this conversation like that. Now, sometimes that's, that's appropriate because they, he might have a history with that person. Sometimes you can make a mistake because you're firing shots at people that don't deserve it. So if they don't deserve it, why are you firing shots? Now, this lady, he started calling her poverty and all this stuff. And she's like, yo, because he said that sometimes he uses different names when he gets on the phone. So he doesn't always tell that it's him. And the people try to figure it out. They'd be like, yo, is this the hootie that you said your name was Jonathan, but it's really just you on the phone. Well, I, I called yesterday and I talked to I talked to Jonathan, I talked to Ashley, and I talked to Kevin. But Kevin and Jonathan are really just Tahuti. Well, that sounds like a scam. See, what he's not telling y'all is that when he gets on the phone, what name did he tell the lady? Did he say hello? See, he said hello. This is Tahuti or whatever. What's your grievance or whatever? But he might have got on the phone and said, hello, this is Jonathan. Uh, how can I help you? What's your grievance or whatever? He might have said a different name. So what happens here is the lady doesn't know. Potentially, she might not even know that she's speaking to the president of the company. Like she's like, yo, you know, she's just talking like she's talking to an employee or a manager. She's like, okay, well, you know, whatever. She doesn't know she's talking to Tahuti Ma'at Ra. And he made, formulated these and he has the spiritual fortitude and the gifts and all this wisdom and knowledge and superpowers. She she might not know that. Or she might know and she might not know all about him. She might just think Tahuti is his name. And his name might not be Tahuti because he changed his name. He said he changed his name three times. So the fact that he changed his name three times is like kind of it's kind of creeping me out like, dude, that's really sketchy, bro. You change your name three times, but I don't understand. Maybe he got married and changed his name. I don't know. The whole point is that he's got three names. So which name did he give the lady? And then how he handled this situation, uh, immediately insulting the lady, talking about poverty. Now you stepping on the lady toes like you like, oh, you, you know, you poor. So, you know, you, you tripping. Now the lady, now you like, oh, that, you know what you're going to do. You know what black people do. They, somebody call, try to treat you like you broke. You try to buy up the whole store now. You That's reverse psychology. That's, oh, you think I'm broke? Nigga, I could buy you. I'll buy everything on your website. If I buy everything in this store, I'll buy all this stuff I don't need. That's the psychology that he was talking about where people buy for the wrong reason. And he's going to use that psychology on her. Because of my attitude, so I'm going to oblige you. I will send you the tea and whatever else it was. And I just got off the phone. You know, because I don't really, I really don't trip. Whatever else. See, he's making up stories 
and not being accurate. So it's not a real story now because he's saying whatever it was. See, it, it, this would be really like evidence, but he 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 made the story, and I just showed y'all how many loops are in the story already. But you know, I mean, I, I'm like Bruce Lee, the bamboo. I know I'd be firm, I know I'd be soft, and so I hit it with something, and I made it personal. I understand you operate on poverty consciousness. I don't have to know you. Your words. Why are you messing with this lady's mind? She's a customer. She's she's a patient. She's sick. She's trying to get help, and you're fucking with her brain. Why not just say, excuse me, ma'am, if it's very serious to you, we would like to apologize for our mistake and we can send you uh, this or we can send you that or we can refund your money, whatever you would make you happy today. Why not just be business? But see, he say that business isn't that important, but then you talk about Dr. Sebi herbs and how much they cost, then his herbs, his herbs cost the same or more, and his herbs are inferior quality, but he says they're superior quality, and I exposed what's in them. And then now he's punking old ladies and ladies out of their money. All I do is beg y'all for change. I don't scam y'all. I don't sell y'all shit and y'all don't get it. I just beg y'all for change and ask y'all to donate and send something to my cash app. And this person sitting up there insulting your mamas and aunties and sisters. What a, what a, what a minute. Hey, bruh. We had to pull up on dude real quick. Like, bruh just snitched on himself, bruh. You punking old ladies out of their money. This is like highway robbery. Say it all. Because after 15 seconds of speaking, a person's mind is on display. In the very Okay, that might not be true. But the whole point is, the lady should just went to Dr. Sebi sell food or Usha Village. She should she should have just went to Dr. Sebi. She, sh she should not have even went to you. But you told everybody that you was better and that you was cheaper and that you was too hooty and, and you told people that you was, you were a better alternative and all this stuff. And then the lady called you and you started disrespecting the lady and all this. You might have cursed out the lady. He said he cursed out all kind of people. See, this is a story. We don't know what happened. Next day, the Armenian rep lady said to hooty, the lady called in today and apologized and said she would pay for it because she felt guilty. When somebody tell you it's an innocent mistake. Uh, you're not supposed to be making mistakes because you're the God, though. And then now you're making mistakes, calling, insulting people, and then tricking them into buying more of your garbage. He just psychologically punked a lady into spending, giving him more money. All I ask for is change. I don't ask y'all to send me $1,000 and $100. I would love it, but, you know. I don't even be tripping like that. I I, I would love y'all to do it. I'm very angry right now. I'm very sad right now. It's sorrowful. Uh, it's saddening, you know. But it's it's like I gotta just hit play. Think <laughs> you gotta take that into consideration. You can't be selfish. And, well, so what? I'm gonna exploit. It. That's ugly. It's ugly. I remember a situation with my first wife before we were getting married and looking at wedding rings. And we were at the Crenshaw Baldwin Hills Plaza. And we were purchasing something. I, I, I forget what it was. I don't know if it was pillows or something. And the woman, the cashier, black woman, forgot to ring us up for something. And my ex-wife, she was 23. You know, not really cultivated. You know, I'm 23. And I'm like, oh, wow. I'm looking at the receipt. Like, she didn't charge us, you know, for these items here. And so my ex-wife was like, that's, hey, that's her fault. That's on her. We don't get over. We ain't saying nothing. Right then and there on the spot, I checked her. Okay, so you were snitching on your wife now. You snitching on your wife and you broke the G-code. You're disrespecting old ladies. Man, he told, he said he cursed out some of y'all mamas and shit like that, didn't he? I'm about to smoke my cigarette because I ain't got a, I ain't got a, got a care in the world right now. But you, Lord, that man probably don't sleep at night good at all. Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. So... Your wife was like, yo, we just came up. We just got a blessing. We just manifested. Wow. Your wife was so beautiful. The, the people got mesmerized by her glory, by her aura and her chakras. And maybe she even farted and they liked the smell of her farts. You don't even know. But something happened and y'all came up. And because you are Boule, Mason, whatever you are, a slave master, you say you checked your wife, 
And what did you do? How you check the goddess? How? See, she wasn't used to being with the type of man, the type of black man that I am, that I was back then. She wasn't used to that. See, people are the way they are because of past experience or experiences in life and with other individuals, be it the parents, the sibling, the lovers, or whatever. Well, they're like that. A big reason is because of past experience doing certain things. It, it, it becomes a habit, but it's just a way of life. You have a habit of being ain't shit and cursing out old ladies and mistreating women. Now, your wife just came out and you snitched on her and you got dang. Now we know how your, you just told how your wife was. And then the crazy part is she probably realized like, yo, she don't need to be with you right then and there. But she probably stayed a little bit longer. But that's why it's your ex-wife. Because you is a coon or something like that. I don't know. I said, no, we're going to go back and pay for that. Sheesh. Like, why, why would we do that? She, she messed up, it ain't on us. She, we can keep the money in, and, and she, why we got to get us back? Because it's the proper righteous fucking thing to do. You don't have to steal. You don't steal if they gave it to you. That's not stealing. And you just snitched in the Matrix. Bruh, he just, he act like a Matrix, like a super cop, like a vegan police. Like, for real, like, he just did it. His ex-wife is a real person. He just, he's supposed to be talking about his business and his customers. And instead, he's, he, just told, he chose to snitch on his wife and expose his true colors. Because everybody that's black know, if we just left the jewelry store and they gave us something, they gave us that. I told y'all I didn't rob the jewelry store. They gave it to me. They gave it to me. <laughs> yes, yeah, very frustrating when you like me. See, yes, so I'm always in certain situations where there's going to be frustration because I'm really advanced compared to a lot of people. And I know many of you, many of you all think that that's arrogant. No, to me it's just self-confident and I know it. And that's why I challenge motherfuckers day in and day out to do certain things. Like I had a bunch of Sister Jennifer. And you know, today I heard some things and you know. Oh, why is he calling y'all motherfuckers? He said he'd be cursing for shock value. value. So he's pretty much trolling by... He's talking vulgar to troll. He's talking vulgar to get views. That's what his thinking is. When he should be able to talk scientifically and shatter the internet. I don't even remember Malachi York cursing at us like that. I don't even remember Malachi York cursing like that. I mean, he might have did some other bad stuff. I don't know. But I don't, maybe he cursed when he was off camera and stuff. Maybe. I don't know. But I don't. I don't know. Danny and these people, I said, you know what, you hear a lot of things about me, but none of the motherfuckers who say things about me have the heart to sit their monkey ass down next to me in the public and talk about anything that they have to say about me. So you Tahuti, which is a monkey, but you're calling everybody else monkeys. Tahuti is a monkey and you're calling them monkeys being disrespectful to monkeys. Some of y'all don't know what's going on, but this is, I'm, t I'm taking over the world right now. That's what's happening. I'm exposing Hollywood. I'm exposed who feed y'all. Now, I've exposed your teachers, the people y'all listen to, and the, the, the people that feed y'all. And y'all listen to these people. I'm a motherfucking back, and that's real talk. And that's why I make videos and expose motherfuckers on videos, giving them the chance to sit their ass down and do an interview with me like I did Alexis K. Tyler ass. And a motherfucker would not show up because these motherfuckers don't have no integrity. And I do not like motherfuckers. They might have sabotaged her to where she couldn't show up. If you didn't pay her what she asked for or whatever it was, maybe she didn't have enough money to show up. Maybe... Y'all had somebody come and 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 distract her. Y'all might have had some goons sent to mess with her, like Omar Johnson's goony goon goons and his all female security with the bow and arrow lady. There's a bow and arrow lady and an old lady he had for security. He had a big fat lady with a bow and arrow, and he had an old lady for security. And he's gonna talk about he want a female army. He said he wouldn't screw. The, fem the 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 students' moms, but he never said he wouldn't screw his his female army. And you know, people in the army love to have sex. They love sex. Who don't have integrity? You can't be around me. That's ugly to me. I can't stand unrighteousness. Can't stand that shit. And no, I'm not perfect. Cause I was not always like this. But goddamn, I'm conscious and I make conscious choices and I make a conscious choice to be righteous because I understand karma, man. I understand karma. I'm not trying to come back here and repeat certain shit, man. But I can learn now. Not trying to so why did he why did he call that lady poverty and all that kind of stuff? Whether she was pop in poverty or not, the whole point was y'all messed up and she wanted what she paid for. You could tell her any lie you want to tell her. She don't care what you got to say. Money talks. 
If she paid money for something and didn't get it, she want what she paid for. She don't care what the hell you talking about. She don't even know if you the president and you made this or you run this. She like, look, I don't know who you are on the phone. I ordered something, I didn't get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what the reality is. She might not be a mason in, in no Egyptian society and scared of you and all that stuff to let you just take her money. She really confronted you like, nah, where my stuff at? You know, so many people just bow down and take it and surrender, as he said. Dude, that. We gonna get, we gonna go pay the lady. Cause it's the right thing to do. And we got money, we good. We don't have to do this. Just because you can do a thing doesn't mean you have to do it. She didn't like that. But she ain't no wussy chump type of cat. I'm alpha, I'm righteous. F that, I'm not selling out righteousness for nothing. See, that's that Greek fraternity bullshit. See, the alpha male, all that stuff. He, that's what he believed in himself. Weird, crazy stuff. Nobody. So I go back to the counter. I said, ma'am, you didn't ring us up for whatever that item was. If he was a real alpha male, he would still have all three wives and he would be the real brother polite and they would be all sitting down with him. Uh, okay. I hate I have to do this. Next wife, she's behind me and just... Ex -wife. Like, damn. And that wasn't the first time I experienced that in a relationship. And the female was like, oh my God, thank you so much. See, we don't think, man. Was it a white lady at the counter? Or was he, he wanted to give back to the white establishment? And he had to chastise his slave? His black woman? And we damage ourselves so we just do more damage in an unconscious state. We don't think about the person. Her register comes up 80 or $100 short. Then she loses her job. Off of a mistake. Because mistakes do happen, man. They do. What cheap jewelry y'all buying for 80 or $100? Also, if the lady get fired for not doing her job right, then that's her problem. She need to go get some herbs and get healthy and fix her brain. Whatever else. I don't... She's like, oh my God, thank you guys so much. I mean, because it was hefty, it was significant. It was 89 dollars I mean, it was very significant in what she didn't charge us. I mean, we had the merchandise, but she didn't have the money for it because of an oversight. And I came back, ma'am, you didn't charge us, charge us for it. So if you married and you're buying your wife jewelry, I assume you're buying diamonds. I don't know any jewelry that's diamond that costs 80 or $100. Maybe you're not buying diamonds for them girls. See, a lot of y'all not even getting rings and y'all not y'all getting disrespected out here and the women not getting rings no more. So they don't even got insurance. Like they don't got nothing of value to even sell after leaving these cult members. They don't like young feral jewelry got taken or whatever. It's like his wife probably took that. Like it's hers to take and she got to go pay her bills and she got to go pay it. You know what I mean? But that's what comes with being married. That's why you give the girl a ring. If you die, she got something. Maybe, you know what I mean? It's okay. And that's why she didn't understand that. But see, that's why so much good happens to me and other people who do the things that I do. Living righteous, living with integrity. It all comes back. For 80 and when you're still, you're making the statement that God is not sufficient or that the universe does not provide. And that's not true. See, that's in your mind. That's your perception that you make your reality when you act on that. We don't have to steal. There's plenty. We don't have to do it. We don't have to hurt people. That young lady could have been hurt. Then she becomes a statistic, an unemployed African-American. Or African-Americans can't count. Or we steal or what have you. So we don't think about those things. I do. Maybe the lady can't count. Maybe the lady can't count. Maybe you a God and you can count and she couldn't count. Some people can't count. Some people can't read. For real. That's why I'm always in some shit with black folks of the nigga variety. Because it's shit that needs to be checkmated. And you don't have a lot of people with balls. I'm trying to count how many times he wiped his nose. Including males who don't have balls, who do not have testicular fortitude to checkmate unrighteous shit going on. And if we would do that, we wouldn't have to wait on white folks and other people pointing the finger at us, talking about us, what we don't do, what we need to do. So that's that Mason pointing the finger thing. Okay, so you copied Dr. Sebi formulas. Yeah. We took the initiative to check ourselves. We don't want to do that. Though. Who checks that? See, I'm different in that respect. And I don't care if the cashier within Caucasian or Latina or whatever else. The fact of the... See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? 
out of ears. There was an oversight. We had merchandise that was not paid for. Therefore, we owe for that merchandise. It was the right thing to do. And when you live like that, people, abundance is coming your way. I got chills. He got chills all over his body saying this because he got a divorce because you was snitching on your wife right now. And... Oh. All over my body, I take off my shirt, just chills. Because I'm so fucking wealthy today. And you think, oh, finance is money. No, that's linear. I'm so wealthy in all aspects today because... Of you see the hand symbol he just did? I'm not even going to rewind it. He did one of them weird hand symbols. Now... Money is not real, but diamonds and gold and silver and all that stuff, that's real, real money. So you felt obligated to give them fake money for real money. My thoughts, my choices, my actions. She was all over me because I've done things that certain people didn't understand, didn't agree with. And to this day, those sap suckers are still struggling and impoverished. I got a situation where a cat 20 years in an apartment complex, same apartment, 20 years. Like that. That's why the Virginia store in Virginia and North and Newport News shut down. Because Karen Cooper, black ass, was one of those niggas. I flew her ass out to California for training. Um, I thought the elders told us we can't say that word no more. See, they said we couldn't say niggas no more, but Tahuti still calling us nigga. So if I say nigga in my video by accident, officially, I am... Certified by Elder Tahuti Ma'at Ra to say nigger or to even call him a nigger because he said he called people niggers. I don't even be saying crackers like that. I don't even know if I've ever called a white person cracker. Like straight up. Like, I mean, I might have called somebody racist before, but I don't even remember saying the word cracker before to a white man face. Like, it is, you know. My God, thousands of dollars. And see, certain people, they don't really understand. They watch the videos and they see him as a Hollywood celebrity and he's a cool... On some real stuff, I ain't really had too many racist things happen to me. I've had racist things happen. A lot a lot of racist things happen. But I don't be around enough white people. I be around black people. So that's why a lot of my videos are about black people. So I don't know white people. I can't talk about things that I don't know. Like I can talk about news clips or whatever else, but there's fake news. So that's why it's kind of complicated. Okay, he's funny, he got knowledge, and, and you know, motherfuckers want to be around me, and I understand that. But they don't, they don't understand that, they don't really understand that behind the screen, Jacoby. Business, I take care of my shit. It ain't all about just rolling out. So he said he'd be with celebrities and stuff. Because, you know, I will take you out, we will go to Real Foods Daily, you know, we, I do shit like that. Real Foods Daily? Okay, I gotta expose their food. But you got motherfuckers who think that it's just like that. And Karen thought it was like that. So we, we did shit. We did, bro. Oh, I feel so special being next to Hootie. Oh, my God, I feel so privileged. What a cafe gratitude. We're eating good food, raw foods. and another. Look at how he move around so much. That shit is weird. But also, uh, what do you say? Ca cafe gratitude? Okay, I got to look that up. I'm going to expose that, too. Since your first day in town, I'm not tripping. But tomorrow, be a such and such at this time. All hell breaks loose. Lack of integrity. Didn't show up when she was supposed to. And then when she had the training with my wife and Roxy, that's when shit really came out. Now see people, you know, y'all don't like me telling this shit, then you ought to be correct because I would never open my mouth if people did not present the, the opportunity for certain things to come up. If you just be cool and just do you, then I have no reason to make a video. I have no reason to talk about these type of things. I'm a public person. So when you do shit and the public is involved, like, yo, what happened? What happened? Well, I'm obligated to tell people what the hell happened. So if you don't really like this type of scenario situation, then don't fucking create it. You know you're fucking weak anyway. You know that. You're sensitive as hell. But then you want to get in the ring with a Goliath such as myself. I'm fucking Taurus Scorpio. So when these motherfucking horns come out and that fucking Scorpio stinger come out, it's to kill your motherfucking ass. Cause you horns on his head that he drew with his fingers. I didn't Photoshop none of this. So if somebody take this and go Photoshop the demon horns on him, that's somebody else. I might scribble some on there later. I, mean, I got to think about it. Just for shocks and views and giggles and stuff like he cursed all this cursing that he doing is not supposed to be his real emotion that's a fake emotion that he says he does for shock value but it seems very very real or at least he applies it but why do we have to hear Tahuti calling us niggas and all this stuff it's like 
people that are ignorant, they know they're a little ignorant and you can exp explain it. But after after a while, it's like, okay, teach us, you know, but, oh. Unrighteous and you need it any goddamn way. If you ain't unrighteous, stay the fuck away from him or her who is righteous. Just stay your monkey ass away. But see, you don't because your ass wants something. And you don't get something for nothing. This woman is training. We find out this woman don't know how to operate a fucking calculator. She don't know how to work the computer and, and, and backtrack and, you know, race the bar. You know, you just, you know, you uh, color it and hit delete and they don't respect it. I mean, shit, fuck it ain't mine. Shit, I don't lose no way. Fuck it. That's what selfish it ain't yours like Dr. Heavy formula that you stole. People do. So we fly out to California, hotel, run a car, everything to train her because she's the manager. Which we, I'll be the manager. All right, cool. Here's your salary. You be the manager. Now, she didn't really have a lot of skills. And like I said, a lot of shit makes sense because we had lunch. You know, to who we, you know, I ain't worked in 20 years. Dude, I had money. That's how I brought you and Omar. You and Umar. Dr. Umar Johnson. That's how I brought you out to Virginia. I had money. But then I saw. He said, Dr. Umar Johnson. I didn't say it. He said it. No, man, fuck it. That's what selfish people do. So we fly out to California, hotel, run a car, everything to train her because she's the manager. But I'll be the manager. All right, cool. Here's your salary. He calling people selfish. But he met, his company messed up and you going to call a lady poverished. I might be wrong with my English, but you call this lady poor. And made made this lady psychologically with your Jedi mind trick made this lady give you more money. That's selfish, ain't it? If you messed up, you should be giving her stuff for free. She should not have felt guilty. But you made her feel guilty because she gave you money and then you, you're you selfish. You're selfish. But listen to Umar Johnson one more time. You be an amateur. No, 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 she didn't really have a lot of skills. Like I said, a lot of shit makes sense because we had lunch, you know, to who we, you know, I ain't worked in 20 years. Dude, I had money. That's how I brought you and Omar. You and Umar. Dr. Umar Johnson. That's how I brought you out to Virginia. I had money. But then I started putting things together. See, that, see his mind is strong. Mars and Gemini. They Umar Johnson. Going to third house. So I'm like, okay. And you told me. So he did an event with Umar Johnson. That's what he told us, right? We in scanning shit, man. We don't operate like that. We use the technology. So we fly out here for the training. I mean, if you don't, because I'm like, if you don't know, okay, I understand. Well, let's train you. We, you know, we got the, the capabilities. We got the people. We got the resources. So we just, we're going to train you. We, we would have appreciated if you were told us in advance. You know what I'm saying? Well, I can do this and this and that and everything and just do the end. And I get this and for you and then Umar and I'm like, Umar. Karen did some shit. Umar. She did some shit. So, Umar. And I take responsibility of that, you know, with uh, Karen. I mean, because just like a lesson, these people were my friends, right? These people never gave me any reasons and everything checked out. You just never, it's like a relationship. You never know until you really get intimate with them. I ain't talking about sexual fucking intimate people. I'm talking about intimate, close to people. Then shit comes out. If people can fake the funk way over there in New York and uh, London and fucking Chicago and Atlanta, it's easy. When you live with a motherfucker, man, you know, you a certain way, and people want to be a certain way, but they can't because they fake the funk. Or they lose it. It never fails. So why you ain't exposed Umar Johnson eating Twizzlers and little Debbie snacks and stuff? He had to expose that years later. And you were doing events with him? Were you talking to us about being ignorant and stupid? But your public speaker eats little Debbie snacks and shit? Say he gonna take junk food to Africa. That's the opposite of woke. Talking about you're going to take junk food from the Matrix to Africa. That's like saying I'm going to take Taco Bell to a Native American reservation. Now, Taco Bell might get away with that because I think they did have one at the Native American reservation because they, um, you know, they got vegetables and stuff. And Native Americans, we love vegetables. But let's say uh, McDonald's. You probably never going to see McDonald's at no Native American reservation. Like, not even for the tourists. They like, nah, we ain't doing it. If they do that, they might not even be real Native Americans. I'm going to be straight up. I mean, if if they got McDonald's at a Native American reservation, I'm going to tell them straight up, bruh, y'all got to cut that out. Now, I done went far enough with the Taco Bell. Now, I caught y'all with the Taco Bell, but that Taco Bell closed down. It's not open no more. So yeah, you can I don't think they have any open right now. They might though. So and I know she can handle Andrea. Andrea, whew, that murder woman should Andrea will grill your Andrea straight corporate. Roxy ass was corporate. These women women straight corporate. And it's Karen is grassroots and didn't know the modern day technology, which is understandable because she hadn't worked in 20 years. But you would think that a person would at least attempt to learn some shit just on the strength, right? But it depends on the dude, right? Unpredictable. That's, that's really unpredictable. And like I always say, ladies, you know, a man is really not a financial plan. And you're really not I mean, maybe short term, uh, temporarily speaking, a man, a man can be a financial plan. But, you know, I would never tell a woman to go after a man that's her financial plan. It just doesn't make any sense to me anyway, but that's what happened, right? So 
uh, if they got rough on them, you know, ooh, she like Alexis, you know, after you get in the group with them, you're like, okay, yeah, they spiritual, and then they help, but they, ooh, they do business, and they be on you, you got deadlines, you got to turn shit in, and they're not a grassroots black, but they, 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 they're not cool with that, they don't, they don't, they don't know those things, they don't want to learn those things, they don't want to know those things, they don't want to do those things, you know, like my man Ace said, people want to get paid to do what the fuck they want to do, and that's a problem. By that Friday, she checked out, she left back Virginia that Friday. And these motherfuckers have no integrity, all smile, everything was great, yeah, I'm so excited to be on board, and all this bullshit. So I get an email on Friday night from Karen Cooper. I'm exposing you motherfuckers by name now, motherfucker, because I'm not on YouTube, so a motherfucker can't false flag me and false ass copyright. All that shit is over. This motherfucker is on D Hill Store. Dot fucking com is gonna stay here. Exposed. If you don't like this shit, don't give me a fucking reason to make videos like this. Exposed, Exposed. this shit, because you motherfuckers know that's what I do. Exposed. And I use plenty of fucking profanity for fucking shock value. And I used to do it to keep you motherfuckers at bay, but y'all like this shit. I still can't go to fucking Veggie Grill. Veggie Grill. I exposed Veggie Grill. And I exposed him. He's crying about going to restaurants in the Matrix. Because he don't want to talk to y'all, especially not none of y'all that he scammed and cursed out and talked crazy. He don't want y'all to catch him slipping at the veggie grill. Him or Brother Polite be scared to go to veggie grill. And that's bullshit. You shouldn't even be eating there. Your wife should be able to do a cooking show and you should be doing a Tahuti cooking show. And I should be exposing that right now. But I'm not. Because you ain't nothing. You crying about... It's like crying about McDonald's or something. I just, somebody gave me McDonald's the other day. I gave it away to a crackhead. I said, I don't want this shit. <laughs> I tried to get that shit away to the homie. My homie said, I don't eat that bullshit. I said, what the fuck? That nigga wasn't even woke. He said he don't eat McDonald's. That's how woke we are as a people. Y'all ain't that stupid. Like some people actually don't eat McDonald's, but they don't know nothing about no kind of conscious community, nothing. All they know about maybe a little Nas CD, you know, uh, they probably got, um, what else? Maybe a little Erica Badu CD, but they don't know too much, but they know not to eat at McDonald's. <laughs> and this man talking about all these restaurants that I'm going to expose and I already exposed Veggie Grill. Because y'all like this shit, nigga. Motherfucker, really funny this. But anyway, so I get an email from her. Tootie, thank you for bringing the Hill store to Virginia. We're excited. Everybody's excited here. Okay, cool. That's right night. She left. It was very hard time difference, so I don't know, 10 o'clock at night or something. So the next morning, it was a Saturday. I get another uh, text from her. And it says, Tahuti, nobody here wants to be manager. We all want to be cashiers. Oh. I'm like, what the fuck? Now, so this only came after... This video is supposed to be about his business dealing with customers. But he's actually talking about the employees and probably why y'all was getting mistakes on y'all orders. But he obviously didn't have enough power to change that situation, and it ended up bad. And now he's talking about how powerless he is. How much power he does not have. That's what all this really is about. How much power he don't have. Like, I got the power to do a lot, but I don't have the celebrity, and y'all don't listen to me. But if I ever get the status, and I get the money, I'll start doing all kind of cool stuff. And I won't just sit around and yell at y'all and curse at y'all and call y'all niggas all day. Like, this is like a resetting of the Matrix. It's like, I'm I'm Neo and it's like, I get to survive and, and watch the world reset. And these people will be destroyed. They're destroyed themselves already. Because they're not even... Uh, like, he should not even, even been publicly speaking like this. Until he got older. He should have reserved all this for like a journal and just talked about it with his wife or his multiple wives. But he wasn't able to do that either. But even I got to make YouTube because the Matrix is so stupid. Abilities work. Oh, they, they, see, they know you got a heart, but they, they think you stuck in it. They don't, them motherfuckers don't know that. I'm sorry, y'all got to They don't know that fucking gang. They don't, they don't know the fucking trip and that blood shit, that gangster shit. They don't know that. They don't, they just see spiritual and black people and the people and they don't know that other side, that street side. I ain't just stuck there. I did gangster on your motherfucking ass. I'm from fucking South Central Los Angeles Company and Watts. I'm from the fucking streets. I do good in life because life is a reflection of the streets. They just hide shit politicians. They just like fucking gangbangers. They just get away with the shit. Police just like gang. Why he wiping his nose and then also he said blood crip. So which one are you? Are you neither nor? You neither nor, bruh. You said blood crip shit. Like you not, you neither nor. So what are you talking about? This is crazy. You are alpha. You, you Greek, you Egyptian, you Zulu or something. I don't know what you are, bro, but I mean, maybe Greek frater fraternity. You know, I don't know what he is, but... I'm gonna get the murder, just get away with the shit. 
Motherfucking doctors, they just like gang, but they kill, they murder, they get away with it. They have a license, they're a licensed physician. It's the same. So, when have you ever heard a pastor? I mean, I know pastors curse sometimes. I know they curse. They got cursing pastors. But most pastors don't curse out people. They learn how to talk to us and give us great stories from the Bible and teach great lessons. Pastors, I thought, were pretty good people. Not all of them, but some of them. Now, why isn't he able to conduct business without bringing out this street stuff? Why isn't he able to... Why is he insulting the customers, calling them poor and poverty and all this stuff? Why is he using reverse psychology on people? And Shit. So I'm not impressed by you. I'm not impressed with fucking Barack Obama. I'm not impressed by the presidency. I'm not impressed with the fucking Senate, the Congress, and Poli. I'm not impressed with none of that shit. You do what the fuck the little people do. The little people got more heart because they do that shit openly. So the DC military, yeah, I suck dick because I'm motherfucking broke. I need to hit. I need to feed my babies. I sell motherfucking dope because I'm broke. I do this, I do that. They, they, have, they have heart. They real with this shit. But then you got these motherfuckers up in D.C. and Beverly Hills and state capitals doing everything these motherfuckers are doing. Motherfuckers in the porn and motherfuckers wife and husband swapping motherfuckers snorting cocaine, doing the same thing street people do. But want to front like they are holier than bound, they're righteous. That's why I don't give a fuck for these people at the top. I don't, I really don't. Because I know them. That's how Vicky Morgan, that's how she got killed. Because Mr. Alfred P. Bloomingdale, and you went and y'all shot at Bloomingdale's. Y'all know the man, Alfred, Alfred P. Bloomingdale. That motherfucker was into some shit. Ronald Reagan. And his camera was into some shit. You wiping your nose, though. You wiping your nose, though. It's some freaky shit. They just got a new book on uh, Nancy Reagan. Bro, it's a book on sex. And they got Nancy Reagan in there talking about when Reagan hooked up with Nancy in Hollywood. They said Reagan was the, he was the luckiest man in Hollywood. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop the video right now because he's supposed to be talking about his customers. And I, and I, I, I get what he's saying. He's saying, you know, people are fake. And that he doesn't have to be all holier than now. But the, the problem is that he's supposed to be wise. And he's supposed to be able to do all these things without lowering his vibration. Meaning, he should be able to tell us a story about him doing the right thing and the lady acting crazy and the lady cursing and the lady calling names and all that. But instead, he told us a story where the lady spent her money. He disrespected the lady. He said he cursed out people, cursed out women. But on the street level, you can't act like that. Ain't nothing good about that. You can't get away with that stuff. Like, what are you talking about street stuff? I don't get to just hide behind the internet and my website and curse people out. And then now you can't go to your little veggie restaurants that are garbage. You know, it's, it's like... The story should be him doing everything right and then maybe the lady acting crazy and then maybe him doing something even greater like sending the lady some flowers or something, sending the lady a cruise trip or something, you know, send the lady to a beach or something, you know, I don't know, just give her a little little fancy, uh, maybe she'd like to go on the little uh, Tom Joyner cruise or something. I don't know, but you didn't get the lady free ticket to go to the, the carnival or nothing you get what i'm saying you posted like no you know what we gonna do we gonna have flowers delivered to this lady and we gonna get her favorite celebrity to sing her happy birthday or something because we messed up that's what you supposed to have seen y'all but y'all didn't see that you saw his company fuck up now you copping out how he fucked up with the he didn't people didn't have experience whatever be the case it don't matter because you tahuti the whole problem is, then he made the lady feel guilty, and then she bought something. The whole story is, he fucked up. Their company fucked up with his name on it. Now, that's the problem. The story isn't supposed to go like that, y'all. The story is supposed to be, he did everything right and maybe the lady was tripping and then the lady called back and apologized. But they was tripping. Like the lady said she paid for what she wanted and she wanted what she paid for. And if you ain't going to give her what she paid for, just give her her money back. But instead, you, oh, let me get on the phone. No, nah, ain't no you, ain't no reason to get on the phone, bro. We're going to give this lady the money back. We made a mistake. Thank you very much, ma'am. 
if you choose to return shop with us again, we would uh, be so happy to, you know, get you products and herbs and stuff. You know, whatever it is he sell. I don't know what all he sell over there because they had a naked girl all on the website. 